Okay, let's take a look at some simple text threading. When we have a text box like so, and we see the little red box with the red plus inside, this shows overset text. That means there's more text here than it's showing. The box is too small to show all the text. Well, we could open the box until we can see all the text. But many times we want to thread this text into a new box. We can do that by just clicking on this little red box here. We get our cursor, click and drag out a new text box, and the text flows from this box to this box. Now I have show text threads is turned on so I can see how the boxes are being threaded. To turn that on or off, that's located under view, extras, hide or show text frames. Okay, uh, now we can also continue threading this text by just repeating the process. Click on the little red box here. We get the cursor, click and drag. Now, if I were to delete a box, if I were to select this box and delete it, the text would just flow from this box to the remaining box. Now, if we ever want to unlink a box, it's very easy. Just go to the out port of this box or the in port of this box and just click. When I drag over this box here, I see it looks like a pretzel, but it's really an unlink symbol. And if I click here, it's going to break the link. The box still remains, though, and I'll just get rid of this for now. Another scenario is we can pre-thread boxes that are already made. Let me zoom out here. I have three text boxes here. These are not threaded together, but we can th thread these boxes together even though there's no text in them just by clicking the out port of one. Come over to the next box. You see that little link sim symbol again. Click there click here and now when I link this text here I get my um, floating icon I'll come over this box you see it changes to a link now and when I click it's going to flow from one box to the next now also remember we can make a text box out of anything in InDesign so if I were to use my pencil tool like so I can draw an odd shape and I can flow text into this also. Let me zoom out. I'll click the out port over here. Click on top of my shape. Let me zoom in. You see the cursor changes from here to here. You see it looks like a parenthesis and we could flow text into anything we can make a text box out of. Okay, so that's basically it. And I hope you enjoyed it, and see you later. Bye-bye.